At last, the boy sighed, opened his eyes, and said in a very small voice, Charted, fear not, said Peter, you, you are in the hands of friends. I believe I've broken my leg, groaned the boy. I trip on these wires. How did you get here? We saw you hadn't come out of the tunnel, so we came in to look for you. We are a, a rescue party, said Peter proudly. You've got some plug, the boy said, and shut his, shut his eyes again. Peter and Phyllis set off to fetch help. Bobby chose to stay with the hound in the dark. He seemed a long time, and they held hands for comfort. Bobby managed somehow to cut the lace on his boots and ease the swollen leg. The man from a nearby farm came with a hurdle and carried the hound to the three chimneys. Their mother thought they had brought a dog home till she saw the hound was only a boy. Their mother couldn't we keep him to his brother, mother, but Peter. It'd be ripping to have another chap talk to talk to. We'll see, said mother. It turned out that Jim, that was the hound's name, had no mother of his, ho of his own and lived with his grandfather. His school was closing for the holidays, so mother could, thought it could be arranged. You never guess who Jim's grandfather turned out to be. Yes, it was the old gentleman. When he found out that mother had died, he knew that she could not afford it, so he made mother matron of Tree Chimneys Hospital. With a proper salary, he sent lots of food and two of his own servants to help with work. Jim and Peter became great friends, but Jim never forgot how kind Bobby had been to him in the tunnel and how brave she had been. When Jim's grandfather came, he spoke to Roberta about her letter. When I first read your father's case in the paper, I had my doubts, he said, and I've known who you were. I've been trying to find out things. I haven't done much yet, but I have hopes. But keep your secret a little longer. It wouldn't do to upset your mother with false hopes. Whether it was false hopes or not, it lit Bobby's face like a candle in a Japanese lantern.